Hey, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. So leo nataka niweze kuongea kiasi ili tukaweze kujua kuna vitu zingine huwa zinatendeka katika maisha yetu na unapata kwamba mara nyingi Mungu huwa uzungumuza na Mungu huongea sana kwa njia nyingi tofauti tofauti Mungu huwa anaongea lakini unapata saa zingine inakuwa vigumu sana kwetu kama wanadamu kujua wakati ambapo Mungu anaongea ama ananena kwa mfano tunasoma katika Biblia wakati wakati Bala alikuwa ameita Balaam aende akawalaani wanaisraeli Biblia inasema kwamba ba, ba, Balaam alikuwa amepanda punda yake na hiyo punda ilikuwa inambeba kila siku kila wakati hiyo punda inamfanyia kazi za kum, za kumsafirisha akienda kila mahali lakini hiyo siku yenye bala alikuwa ameita Balaam ili akaende aweze kulaani wanaisraeli Biblia inasema kwamba punda ilipokuwa inafika kwa ilipofika kwa barabara ikawa ime, inashindwa inakataa kutembea inajifinyilia kando ya barabara yani ni kama kuna kitu imezuia barabara inajifinyilia kando ya barabara hadi bala akashindwa aka, aka hii punda ya shida ni nini akachapa ile punda na punda tena ikaendelea kutembea ikafika mahali punda ikawa sasa imejifinyilia kwa, kwa barabara kabisa mpaka ikagwara mguu ya bala lakini bala mako anashikanisha ajui ni nini inaendelea so mara ya tatu ikawa imefika mahali punda sasa hata angeweza kutembe kusonga akawa ame, a, akalala chini na, na bala wakati ambapo amebeba bala punda akalala chini so wakati punda lipo lala chini bala akachapa punda kwa asira sana akamchapa na hapo ndipo biblia inasema Mungu akafungua kinywa cha yule punda akamuuliza bala je mimi sio yule punda wako huwa nakubeba kila siku si ni mimi huwa ninakubeba kila siku ninakupeleka sehemu zote ambazo huwa unaenda kila wakati kati umewahi niona nikibehave vivi ba, punda punda akamuuliza bala umewahi niona nikibehave vivi je kuna siku umewahi niona nikikataa kufanya kazi kuna siku umewahi niona nikikuangusha chini kuna siku je kuna siku umewahi ona nikikataa kukubeba kuna siku umewahi ona nikikugwaru niki niki mguu kwenye ukuta ama kuna siku yote umewahi ona mbona kila siku ninakufanyanga kazi kuaminifu mbona sijawahi behave vivi sasa huyo ni punda anaongelesha bala kisha wakati punda alipoongea akamaliza ku, ku, ku aki alipokuwa anaongea anamalizia kuongea Mungu akafungua macho ya bala akaona malaika amefunga njia kumbe yule punda alikuwa anaona malaika alafu anaona malaika amezuia njia anajaribu kwenda pande hii anajaribu kwenda pande hii akaona ikafika mahali akaona malaika amefunga njia kabisa hakuna mahali pa kwenda diposa punda alilala chini lakini bala macho yake ilikuwa imefungwa hakuwa naweza kuona nakumbuka bala alikuwa ni, ni mtu ambaye Mungu alikuwa anamtumia na macho yake ilikuwa imefungwa hakuwa anaona anaona yule malaika lakini punda punda alikuwa anamwona yule malaika so na malaika akamwambia bala na huyu punda ndiye amekusaidia punda angejilazimisha kupita kwangu ningekuua Una, unasikia punda alikuwa anaona malaika kawa anaogo, punda akaogopa akalala chini akasema siwezi pita mahali huyu malaika yuko siwezi nikapita pale ambapo yuko so anajigwara kwenye ukuta na jaribu kupenya lakini wapi malaika anasonga mbele tena mpaka ikafika mahali malaika kazuia barabara yote sasa kuna mahali pa punda kupenya na bala ikabidi punda alale chini na niposa malaika akamwambia bala na huyu punda angejilazimisha anigonge ama kwa mfano yani ajilazimisha kupita mali malaika mesi, a, a, alikuwa ang, malaika angemua bala so unapata kwamba Mungu alikuwa anajaribu kupasha ujumbe wake ama ku, ku, ku kumuongelesha Balaam lakini Balaam hakuwa anaweza kufanya nini kuona so kuna vitu katika maisha yetu huwa saa zingine zinatendeka wacha niwaambie kuna vitu katika maisha yetu huwa zinatendeka lakini unapata kwamba saa zingine hatuwezi tukajua like, but i want to just to be be very very careful and be very keen with your life sometimes it's good sometimes to behave in a spiritual way kwa sababu most of the time god speak to us so wacha niwaambie hivi kama unaendanga kazi unaendanga kazi kila siku unaendanga kazi unapiga pasi kila asubuhi unapiga pasi kila asubuhi lakini hiyo asubuhi uliamka ukaanza kupiga pasi pasi ikachoma nguo Hmm? ukaona nguo yako pasi imechoma na si yani umeshtukia tu pasi imechoma ile nguo yenyewe ulikuwa unataka kuvaa kwenda kazi 
pray before you go. Hata kama utabadilisha nguo, pray kwa ile nguo yenye utabadilisha, pray before you go. Kwa sababu sio jambo la kawaida pasi kukuchomea nguo kila asubuhi. Mbona hiyo asubuhi unajikuta kwamba hiyo nguo yenye umetoa unataka kuvaa, pasi inaipasua ama unaipata kwamba all of a sudden inararuka tu. Mm? There are some signs that we need to be very very careful because most of the time there are some times that God gives us sign that it is not good ahead of us sio nzuri and then kama unawe, unapanga safari kutoka unapanga safari kwenda mahali then all of a sudden gari imekuacha ukashtukia gari imekuacha mara nyingi tumeona ushuhuda za watu mtu anashuhudia kwamba yeye alikuwa na, anasafiri kwenda mahali gari ikamuacha unapata hiyo gari imeenda imemaliza watu wengine wanasema alikuwa anaenda mahali ndege ikamuacha unapata hiyo ndege imeenda imemaliza watu so unapata kwamba huyu mtu ni Mungu alikuwa anampreserve ama Mungu alikuwa anamzuia ana, 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 ana ahead sio kuzuri so people have got signs watu wanapatanga signs but you find that sometimes we are not careful or we are not keen enough with the signs that we receive but most of the time most of the time god gives us sign vitu huwa zinatendeka za ajabu ajabu unashindwa mbona inatendeka ukifikanga mahali unataka kufanya kitu ama unataka kuenda mahali ama unataka kuenda safari uone vitu vinafanyika vya ajabu ajabu yenye huuelewi hii ni nini Please take a break and intercede. Just take a break, a break and pray. Mm? Umuulize Mungu, ni nini natendeka? Uanze tu kukemea in case kama kuna roho chafu ama kuna kitu imepangwa kinyume na maisha yako because the Bible is saying that the, the, the enemy our 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 accuser, the enemy halali anazunguka ana, ana kila mahali akitafuta yule ambaye ata attack so you never know when the attacks have been planned but at least sometimes sometimes i am saying sometimes not all the times sometimes kuna signs ambazo huwa unaweza ona kwa mfano unatoka una, un, unataka kwenda safari and then wakati ambapo unataka kwenda safari all of a sudden kutoka nje ukitaka ku, kutumia ile gari unapata mguu zote ziko na pancha Hmm? sio jambo la kawaida unapata mguu zote za gari ziko na pancha sio jambo la kawaida hata unapoenda kurekebisha hizo mguu za gari but intercede yani omba ombea hilo jambo hmm? mbona mguu zote zikawa na pancha wakati ambapo ninataka kusafiri kuna nini mbele anza kuharibu kutawanyisha kila roza visirani kila roza ajali kila roza nini i am telling you because hizi sio vitu vya kawaida bwana yesu asifiwe so kuna kuna hii jambo ambalo imetendeka pia kuna hii jambo ambalo imetendeka na hata kabla ya hiyo jambo kuna wakati hata mimi katika maisha yangu kuna vitu unaonanga zinatendeka kuna science ambazo una, un, uwa unapokea unashindwa kumbe Mungu alikuwa anaongea lakini si kujua but now it is just high time that let us be all careful kwa sababu sometimes also Mungu huwa anaongea lakini unapata kwamba we don't but at least tujiulize maswali kama bala punda ile ilimwara ujiulize mbona hiyo punda ikamgwara hiyo siku punda ambaye inambebanga kila siku inafanyia kila siku hii na hii na hii unajiuliza mbona ikamgwara hiyo siku so nilikuwa nasema kwamba kuna 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 habari ambayo it is very painful you find that it is very painful in fact uh, what i can just say let me just say this let me just say this Let me just say this. You find ukiona ukiona wakati wowote unapanga kitu katika maisha yako. Ukiona wakati wowote una umepanga kitu katika maisha yako. And then ukiamka kufanya hiyo kitu upate kuna visirani vimetokea. Upate kuna mambo imeandamana na ambazo sio za kawaida. Take a break, ask yourself questions and pray. That is the only secret. Take a break. Ask yourself questions and then pray. Punda akamuuliza bala mbona kila siku ninakufanyia kazi U, mbona ujiulizi kwa nini leo ninakugwarusha mguu kwa ukuta nimekataa kuenda nimelala chini mbona ujiulizi mbona unanipiga bure na njia yangu imefungwa unanielewa mbona unanipiga bure na njia yangu imefungwa kuna ile kuna ile kuna hii belief hata ambapo unapata watu walikuanga nayo kitambo sijui ukitoka kwako ukienda sa, ukienda mahali ugonge mguu ujikwae kwa mguu sehemu zingine sijui ni left watu wengi walikuanga ni left ukijikua mguu on the left side wengi 
actually wengi hata mimi ninakumbuka wale wazee wa nyumbani the, the grandparents unapata aki, anaweza vaa suti vizuri ya vile longi anatoka anaenda mahali ama anaenda safari mahali ku all of a sudden kufika tu hata anapita gate amejikwa mguu unapata huyu mzee anarudi nyumbani anatoa longi na koti na anatulia unamuuliza babu mbona kwani usilikuwa unaenda safari baba usilikuwa unaenda safari mbona umerudi anakwambia hiyo safari mbele haiko sawa wacha niipange kesho you find that they were having science and the old people especially walikuwa wanajua kusoma science unapata kwamba mtu anajuanga ye akitoka akitoka akianza kutembea those who are now believes but i come to realize that sometimes sometimes these things they were the things that were there ni sasa vile unapata hii generation as times goes by tunakuja tuna, tunaanza kusahau ama also u, u, wakati ambapo christiani tu tumeingia katika wokovu so we ignore these things but some of them are there unapata kuna people mtu akitoka alafu akutane kwanza na mwanamke alikuwa anasema mbele ni kuna bahati kuna wengine wakitoka kwenye nyumba kwenda safari akutane kwanza na mwanaume anasema mbele kuna bahati na kuna wengine akikutana kwanza na mwanamke hata kama alikuwa anaenda wapi atarudi nyumbani na atulia anasema ni kuna bahati mbaya sana mbele siwezi enda na wengine akininia aki, aki akikutana na mwanaume hata kama ilikuwa ni safari gani atarudi akatika sema mbele siyo vizuri kwa sababu they have studied their lives and na wameona unapata kwamba wakati unatoka kwangu mtu wa kwanza ambaye unakutana naye will determine hii safari unapoenda utaona unaenda salama ama unaenda vibaya je ujai ujai ona watu ambao wakiamka asubuhi hata wananga salamu and i came to realize that I came to realize that even the words that we are speaking especially zile wakati ambapo unafungua kinywa chako kuongea kuongea kuwa makini sana na kitu ambao unaongea ama ile neno ambalo unataka kunena because maneno ya kuna nguvu remember Many are the times that hata katika Biblia wacha nitumie mfano but I, I I'll come to teach that later. Wakati Elijah, wakati yule the shuna maituman, mke mtoto wake ali, aliaga. So mtoto wa yule shuna maituman alipoaga, the shuna maituman went to Elijah. And when he went there, Elijah akamwambia mjakazi wake Gehazi, akamwambia chukua my rod nini akamwambia take your clock, then take my rod. Kimbia mpaka mahali huyo mtoto amelazwa. Hmm? Kimbia mpaka mahali huyo mtoto amelazwa and then kuna sasa zingine kuna vitu zingine unapata zinatendeka lakini Mungu aonyeshi watu watu sio kila siku Mungu atakuonyesha vitu sio kila wakati Mungu atakuonyesha vitu kuna vitu zingine Mungu ana, anaficha watu anaweza akakuficha hata ukiwa mtumishi wake aje kwa mfano kama Elijah wakati ambapo yule mtoto ambaye alikuwa ameoze ameombea yule mama akamwambia kwamba utapokea mtoto tunasoma hiyo hiyo habari the shuna maituman after welcoming elijah akamjengea nyumba then elijah akamuuliza ni nini ambapo ni nini ambayo ungependa ni ku, mungu akufanyie katika maisha yako yule mama hakusema lakini mjakazi wa elijah akamwambia huyu mama hana mtoto muda mrefu sana then elisha akamtabiria kwamba atapokea mtoto so wakati yule mtoto alipokuja biblia inasema kwamba ikawa imefika mahali yule mtoto alikuja akafa So alipokufa yule mama akachukua yule mtoto akapeleka kwa ile nyumba yenye alijengea Elijah na akaweka kwa kitanda ya Elijah ile kitanda yenye Elijah alikuwa analalia kisha akaenda mpaka mahali Elijah alikuwa so alipofika huko Elijah akawa amegeaze alipoona yule mama akamwambia Elijah huyu si ni yule mama Elijah aka, akasema na huyu mama mbona anakaa ni kama ana furaha ni nini ambayo imemtendekea na mbona Mungu amenificha Mungu hajanionyesha Elijah ndio hiyo maneno ikatoka kwa kinywa cha Elijah. So unapata kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo Mungu anaweza kaficha hata watumishi wake, lakini kuna vitu ambazo huwa anawaonyesha. Same same kuna vitu Mungu huwa anatumana science, unaona science hata malaika wa Mungu anatumana science, anakwambia it is not well, it is not well. Lakini now to, we fail to understand. So Elijah akamwambia mjakazi wake enda na hii rod ukawekelee huyo mtoto na atafufuka. Na Elijah alipokuwa anatuma yule mfanyikazi wake alipokuwa anatuma Gehazi. Bibi nina sema kwamba Elijah akamwambia yule mfanyikazi wake usiongeleshe mtu yeyote kwa barabara, usisalimie mtu yeyote. Na mtu akikusalimia usijaribu ku respond back. Usijaribu kujibu hiyo salamu. Wewe vile nimekutuma hapa toka na uende vile umenyamaza hivyo. Unanielewa? So these things tunazignore tunasema kwamba ni believe 
belief, belief. Yes, we can say they are belief, but some of them, I say some of them are there. Unapata mtu, uh, Elija kama, oh, siya ongeleshe mtu, na uyo ni mtumishi wa mungu. Na hata kwa bibilia kuna, kuna uyu, kuna uyu, kuna wakati mungu alituma prophet, this prophet here. Mungu akamtuma akamwambia usi, usi, usi ongeleshe mtu, usi ende kwa, kwenye barabara yote straight don't turn to the left or right and amali nitakutuma so these things are there unanielewa these things are there even though we can ignore them but they are there so elija akatuma ule mfanyikazi wake akaenda akuongelesha mtu yote akusalimia mtu yote akaenda vile alituma je umewahi jiuliza mbona elija alikuwa anamwambia siongeleshe mtu asisalimie mtu hata akikutana na mama yake asisalimie mama yake hata akitukutana na baba yake asisalimie baba yake hata akitukutana na marafiki ama watu gani asiwasalimie na hata hawa watu wakimsalimie asijibu hizo salamu zao why do you think those those, those things were happening Unanielewa? So kuna kuna hii kitu inaitwa mnaitanga ni kisma sijui ni kisma kisma mnaitanga aje yani bahati nzuri ama bahati bahati nzuri ama the opposite way bahati nzuri or bahati mbaya So these things are there So nimekuambia nimekueleza ukipanga jambo katika maisha yako umepanga safari na uamuke uone safari ziko na visirani don't go Take your time pray about it. Usirash tu kuenda. Ukipanga kufanya jambo, uone hiyo jambo kuna mambo imetendeka ambalo sio ya kawaida. Niliwaanzia na nguo. Unaendanga kazi kila siku na pikanga nguo pasi asubuhi. Lakini hiyo siku nguo imechomeka. Pray. Mbona nguo imechomeka? Mbona Mungu anakudeleisha ili uchukue wengine upige pasi? Nini kuna nini mbele? Umepanga safari unataka kwenda all of a sudden gari imekuacha. Usi, 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 usianze kujilaumu nini nini? God has a reason. Umepanga kwenda mahali ndege imekuacha. Don't ask yourself what and what. Pray and intercede and mwambie Bwana, whatever was ahead of me that was not meant for me, let it be destroyed in Jesus name. Father go ahead of me and lead me. Just make that prayer. Wakati unatumia gari yako, all of a sudden unamuko unapata mguu zote ziko flat, ziko na pancha, unashindwa hii ni kisirani gani? Let me tell you pray. These are signs that are showing you that there is an attack ahead. You need to intercede. So as I said, kuna watu huwa wanaona hizi signs. Unanielewa? Lakini kuna watu huwa hawawezi wakaona hizi signs. But most of the time, most of the time, ukiona jambo kama hilo. Ukiona jambo kama hilo. Just take time and pray. Just take time and pray. Involve God in whatever you are doing. That is what I mean. Involve God in whatever you are doing. Because some things are just spiritual. Some things are just spiritual. Unapata kwamba malaika ameenda akafanya udilei. Malaika ameenda akafanya mguu zote za gari zipate pancha kwa sababu hawezi akajitokeza kwa mtu akwambie hivi na hivi na hivi. So anafanya vitu ambavyo vitakufanya at least umis ile kitu udelay ile ili umis ile kitu isitendeke. Nanielewa. So uh, So always remember that and be prayerful. That's all I can say for now. Always remember that and be prayerful and be prayerful. Always remember that and be prayerful. May the Lord bless you all. Bwana awabariki sana na muwe na wakati mwema. Thank you.